Hey guys, the question I chose was, why are multicellular algae not classified as plants? Well, first off, what are multicellular algae? Algae are plant-like protists, and they are a large and diverse group. Algae play important roles as producers in aquatic ecosystems. They are usually found in water, although they may be found on land or snow, and strangely, also in rocks, marine animals, or on the fur of some rainforest animals such as sloths. Some algae are single-celled, but the ones that we are going to talk about today are multicellular. An example of multicellular algae is seaweed. Here is a picture of a type of seaweed called kelp. This type of seaweed can grow as large as trees. They are a major food base of ecosystems called kelp forests and are found throughout the ocean in temperate and arctic climates. Why are multicellular algae considered to be plant-like? The main reason is that algae contain chloroplasts and they also produce food through photosynthesis. Another reason could be that they are both considered eukaryotes. They both also have the same life cycle called alternation of generations. Although they may even look alike, look closely and you will see that they are not the same. The reason to why multicellular algae aren't classified as plants is that algae lack many structures that a true plant has. For example, algae do not have roots, stems, flowers, fruits, seeds, cones, or leaves. Plants also have vascular systems, which allow for the uptake and transport of water and nutrients. On the other hand, each cell in algae must obtain its own nutrients from water for survival. Some algae are also motile, which plants are not. Algae may move by pushing their bodies forward in a crawling motion. Hold fast stapes and blades compose multicellular algae, while a plant is usually composed of roots, stems, and leaves. Plants and algae also have really different ways of reproduction. Plants have complex multicellular reproductive systems, and some require to help the help of wind, birds, or bugs for pollination. While algae can reproduce through tiny spores or even by replication or the growth of broken pieces, the scientists think that algae were probably the ancestors of plants. Thanks for watching, and here is my bibliography.